right, we're back with the delegation and the, the, the brass of our delegation in the state. And, you know, Z was just telling me how you get the bond during these times, <laughs> and uh, you bond in the House, and it, it really increases the relationships. And I, I, th I think <laughs> I'm not talking about your case, but I think divorce lawyers are going to be in high <laughs> demand. <laughs> you better love the person you stuck in that house with for a long time. Yeah. And I know you love your wife. She's out there in the audience. All right, let's talk about some let, positive. I want to hear some positive. We're going to leave the people with some positive. And, uh, Stuart, let's, let's come to you. Let's talk about some of the positive things going on in the state. Some positive things going on in the state right now is, I mean, the leadership. I have to, I'd start right now with leadership under Speaker Shake Snyder. Uh, I mean, we are proving to the people of South Louisiana that, you know, this isn't exactly about just New Orleans. This is about the small towns, and it's about Homa and the small towns south of Homa. On further east, uh, we have to show a presence there and make sure they understand that we have not forgotten them. And that's why we're here today, and that's why we've been here all week, and we'll continue to go around and check on everybody and make sure their needs are met. Uh, HB2 is the capital outlay bill, and I hope they get their request in, and I know Z and Tanner will make sure that those requests are in early because it's going to need money, state money, to help rebuild this area. I mean, this is a beautiful area of the state of Louisiana, and they're most resilient people. Lake Charles is the same way. Resiliency, they're going to rebuild. So we just need to make sure they have the resources to rebuild, and I'll make sure that, that those resources are there. Well, thank you for that. Now, I want to come to... Uh, Mr. Speaker, Clay Shakes and I, let's talk about the schools. I've had all the superintendents on, and they're positive. I mean, but they, they got a mess on their hand. There's no doubt about it. What can y'all do as a state to help these superintendents? We had the state superintendent here yesterday also, but it's going to be an undertaking. It will be, and, it, and look, when you come, when it comes to schools, it's always an undertaking, no, even during a normal time of the year. But I can tell you, doing the things that, that we've done in southwest Louisiana, helping with those schools over there and helping with funding to be able to get them back on their feet was tremendous, and these guys helped a lot on that. Uh, we'll reach out. We'll sit down with these superintendents. We're not done. This is not only visit down here to meet with them, but we'll sit down with them, see exactly what their needs are, and we'll go back to – the capital and we'll we'll start putting funding in place and and dollars in place and whatever it is to take to get these people and these young kids back into school i mean that's the main thing look you know it's disappointing that the national news has picked up on the the northern part of this storm and it, it's it's showing that you know mm -hmm. the the new yorks and the new jerseys are, are hitting they're mm -hmm. flooding of course they are and i feel for those people but if uh if you look down here and you look at Louisiana and the things that we go through, I can tell you that our people of our state are resilient. We're going to get through this. If if those up there are where they are because of Ida, they should look down here at how bad we are. And even mm -hmm. though we're a much smaller population, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get through this. And uh, the positive out of this is that it brings us all closer mm -hmm. together. Our state has always had each other's back, no matter what the times were, and and we'll get there. You know. If, if New Orleans is the face of this, then Terrebonne and Homa and all of these Lafouche is the right hand. And we need to, we need to make sure that people realize that. And for that. people watching nationally on Facebook and YouTube, we've had a big audience there. When you get in your car and you start it, 30% of that gas in your tank comes from our area. That's exactly You know, so right. to mm -hmm. speak. So, uh, Tanner, what can we leave them with uh, positive? Uh, you know, the southern parts, Boudreaux Canal. All those areas hit hard, got water in their homes from the reverse effect, which we never expected. Some of those buildings been around forever. Low encouragement. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, look, you know, um, I drove down all the way to Cocodry yesterday, and I actually went all through Montague yesterday as well. Uh, and, you know, Cecil Lapras' grocery store is still there. I mean, that's, that's mm -hmm. kind of like a minor miracle, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I, I fully intended to see it and be in rumble so my point being is we will survive that grocery store has been there since the 1800s mm -hmm. you know early 1900s whatever it is and it, it's still there and so that's a testament to our ability to come back um and we will do it and you know we have the right kind of people in charge we have the right kind of people around the state in charge um to make this happen and i know that everybody at this table is committed to working with whoever we got to work with federal government governor whoever 
to bring this area back and get it what it needs to recover as fast as possible. Yeah, we got about a minute and a half left. Jerome, I'm mm -hmm. going to come to you. I'm, I'm impressed with the camaraderie I see here with law enforcement, with you guys. I mean, that you could tell y'all genuinely like each other. That's important to show that to people you're going out because they don't want no fighting. People can't take the fighting right now. They just want, they want improvement and they want movement at this point. And, and it's true. I think it's the mindset of the folks. We get along well because we all have the same intent to work hard to do what's the, in the best interest of the people we serve in our districts and also within the state. And I think that's a common goal and a commitment that we all have. And if that's our primary focus, we do all get together and we, we work on trying to make sure that happens. But some of the things that from the perspective of how we're working together to get things done and getting the resources down is no more than as we indicated, Troy coming down here to bring the resources, Stuart out here cooking twice. We had a Voiles Parish bringing in food. It's just a matter of uh, everyone working together, recognizing a need and filling it. And that's part of what it's all about. And I'm, I'm proud to have an opportunity to serve with these guys. Well, we certainly appreciate y'all stopping by for a much needed talk with the public. And uh, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Pro Tip, thank y'all. And to the reps, thank y'all for what y'all do. Y'all have done well for our area. We appreciate that. And uh, keep up the great work. And God bless all of y'all. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks all for right. having me. We'll take a short break. We'll have a lot more here on HTV. Uh, we got to let these guys go do their job now, so uh, we'll be back after the break.